Well, today's the day. July 25th or 26th, I don't know, Friday. My Shelby Z K Car Aries wagon has been sitting there in this building since 2001. It's 20 years old. So after I remove the sea of toys and buried snowmobiles, let's see if this thing will start and I can put it back on the roads as it doesn't need an emissions test anymore now that's 20 years old. Cool. Wow, that's a lot of toys. I've still got four snowmobiles to move. Well, four more to go. Ready to lower. Now to lower the front end. Here we go. Way up here. The power has been unleashed. Well, now I've got to release the tension on the rope with my chain hoist. Almost down. So it looks like the tires are getting flat. Almost there.
Now, pops the hood and see what's under there. Just like I said, Shelby Z intercooled, turbo 2.2, heavily modified. There's the intercooler beside the radiator. Of course, no battery. I've got two little motorcycle fans, one above the other, that come on as soon as we get up to one pound of boost. They stay on the hallway, four stair intercooler. This uh, Inglis washing machine pressure fill switch is this thing that senses the pressure in the manifold so that it can turn on these two little fans. Here is my Inglis cold spot full size frost free fridge thermostat modified with the pressure sensing tube hooked up to manifold pressure so I can adjust my wastegate delay system. I can set it for anything from uh, 7 pounds to 16 pounds to delay my wastegate turning on to the last minute and then it turns on. Other cars gradually turn the wastegate on while you're accelerating which loses a kick in the pants that this car has. Now I put this all together in 91. I got the first uh, Shelby Z Daytona that was wrecked in this city of London. Paid $1,500 from the drive for the whole drivetrain and electrical from the auto wreckers. They had no idea what they were selling because they hadn't heard of a Shelby Z. They thought it was a regular lame Turbo One. This thing gets 37 miles per gallon Canadian goes 230 kilometers an hour and has about 240 horsepower. Well in 91 that was impressive. Today we have a lot faster cars. It's a little dark but it's got a Getreg A555 uh, five-speed manual transmission First four gears are close ratio for racing, fifth gear is really tall. So it's 2250 RPM at 100 kilometers an hour. Ugh. Don't know if you can see that yet, but it's 333,324 kilometers. This thing's been amazingly dependable. Steel crankshaft and all the goodies.